Okay, so you've done your curtain system and you realize that you've got something that needs some structural support, but you don't want to go and do your structural support in massing category, uh, which is what you'd be limited to with this particular system, because you'd need to do this sort of strange 3D snapping to get to it. I guess there's some other ways that you could do it with some beam systems, but I'm going to show you a way to do it with uh, using spline by points. So I'm going to edit this in-place mass, and we're going to see I've got this curtain panel system here, and I've given myself some snapping points, these nice little exposed points, node points. If you go into the panel family that made this, you can see that I've got a point that I've set the visibility parameter to be on when it gets loaded. So that just gives me the ability to grab something that's fairly stable. And I can change the geometry and that point will stay there. And uh, so it'll keep my references. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my reference lines. And I'm going to get a spline by point. And I'm going to just start snapping right through connecting all these points together. There. And what I want to do is I want to get out of massing. I want to have something that is going to be the right category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some dummy geometry, basically, that I can hang uh, other geometry on top of. So I just put a point on top of that line right there. And I'm going to go back to my home tab and set the active work plane to be that point. And I'm going to draw dummy geometry reference line, and it's going to be this fun pointer. Let's see why I'm making this particular shape in a second. So I'm going to pick that, I'm going to pick my path, and I'm going to make a sweep that basically describes the sweep path for what I want my structural member to be. i finish that. So now I've got this shape starts to rough out where I want to have uh, my structural framing go. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to make an in-place model, and I don't know what it would really, you, you could do it as a structural column, you could do it as a structural framing, uh, I'll do it as a column, why not. So now I'm in my in-place mass category for structural framing. So I'm going to do a sweep and I'm going to pick a path. I'm going to pick that path on my mass. Finish my path. I'm going to edit my profile. And I'm going to make a circle right there. Just regular old sweep tools. I know that my offset of that point from the rest of my curtain panel is 6 inches. So I'm just going to make that 6 inches. I can also parameterize that to uh, follow the same parameter that drives this point, so that if I decide to change the offset of that point, it will also change the radius of this, but it's sort of uh, aside from this process. So uh, I'm going to finish that, I'm going to finish my sweep, and ta-da, I've got my correctly categorized structural column, and if I go and I turn off massing, so I don't see massing anymore, I just have a nice clean or cleaner model that has my curtain panels and category curtain panels, my structural column is category structural column, if I go and I turn my mask back on, I'm going to select it, I'm going to move it around, the column moves with it, everything is scheduled appropriately, and uh, it's uh, certainly not a designed workflow, but it certainly works. So I hope that is a little bit useful and uh, make good stuff.